history. If we look around ourselves closely, we can find many symmetrical objects such as doors, pairs of glasses, Taj Mahal, double bed, butterfly etc. They are so evenly balanced in equal proportion that simply by looking at them we can see that these are symmetrical. Observe a door or a window. If we draw a line through its middle where the doors meet when shut, it shall be divided into two symmetrical parts. Look at the pair of glasses closely. If it is cut just from the middle, two symmetrical parts will be there. Look at the picture of the Taj Mahal. Isn't it symmetrical? Where will the line be drawn to divide it into two symmetrical parts? Look at the picture of the double bed. If it is divided from the middle, two symmetrical cots will appear. Each bed will be similar in size, shape and position. Observe a butterfly. How symmetrical is its body? In fact most of the things around us have symmetry in them. Lines of Symmetry We know that in each symmetrical figure a dashed line can be drawn which divides it into two symmetrical parts. This dashed line is known as the line of symmetry. They are sometimes called mirror lines. Some shapes have more than one line of symmetry. A rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Use the folding method. This shape has four lines of symmetry. Which of these show reflections in the mirror line? Tangram. A tangram is a Chinese puzzle. A square is cut into seven shapes known as tangram pieces. The object of the puzzle is to rearrange tangram pieces in different ways to make different shapes of animals, people and things. This activity is sometimes called seven pieces of cleverness. Two big triangles two small triangles, one medium triangle, one squared one parallelogram. Look at the figures given below. Both are birds. Both are created with seven pieces of tangram. Observe them and find out the difference. Figure 1 bird's neck is normal. Figure 2 bird's neck is stretched. Let us form various squares by using tangram pieces. Among the seven tangram pieces number four is a square itself. A square is formed by using two tangram pieces, triangles number three and five. A square is formed by using three tangram pieces, triangles number one, three and five. A square is formed by using four tangram pieces, one big triangle no six, one medium triangle no one, two small triangles number three and five. A square is formed by using five tangram pieces, one parallelogram number two, one square number four, one medium triangle number one, two small triangles three and five. Similarly we can form number of other geometrical shapes from the tangram pieces, tangram. A tangram is a Chinese puzzle. A square is cut into seven tiling. Tiling is another form of patterns. We can observe patterns in tiling on the floors and walls of buildings in our houses and many other places. Arranging tiles to cover an area or surface without overlapping or leaving any gap is called tiling. Bathroom walls are usually covered with square or rectangular tiles. 
chess game is played usually on a board having white and black squares. Each black and white square on the board is a tile. We can make different patterns using one or more shapes while tiling. The combination should be used in such a way that an area or surface is covered properly without overlapping or leaving any gap. Tiling with one shape, tiling with two shapes, these shapes leave gaps. If there are gaps between the shapes, they are not a tiling design. Tiling. Tiling is another form of pattern. Drag and drop cover the bathroom floor with tiles. Drag.